Today we're starting 4.8 lines of best fit. What we're going to do is determine a line of best fit for a set of linear data. We're going to determine and interpret the correlation coefficient. A bunch of different words we're going to talk about today. Residual, least squares line, lines of best fit, linear regression, and correlation coefficient. First thing, a residual is the signed vertical distance between a data point and its line of best fit. Why isn't the T showing up? There it is. The least squares line for a data set is the line of fit for which the sum of the squares of the residuals is as small as possible. A line of best fit is the line that comes closest to all of the points in the data set using a given process. And a linear regression is a process of finding the least squares line. I know for some of you this still means nothing. So here's just the definitions. I'm going to go over examples in a second. What the correlation coefficient is, we call it it's a number R where it has to fall in between negative 1 and positive 1. You can't get a cor correlation coefficient that's not between negative 1 and 1. It describes how closely the points in a scatter plot cluster around the line of best fit. By using the squares of the residuals, the positive and negative numbers do not cancel out. So we're going to use squares. Residual squares greater than 1 have a magnified effect on the sum. Now explaining this. I have the data set of 1, 7, 2, 5, 3, 6, 4, 9. And those points are plotted. Here is y equals 2x plus 2. Here's y equals x plus 4. We want to find which line best represents the set of data. And you just can't look, look at it and be like, well, that one looks better. We look at the residuals. So here's that blue line, or the red line. I thought it changed colors. What you look at, here's the line, here's the point. From this line, what's the distance from the line to my point? 2. The distance from the line in this point, it went down 1. From the line to the points, down 1. From the line to the points, up 1. So we take each one of those numbers and square it. 2 squared, negative 1 squared, negative 1 squared, 1 squared. What's negative 2 squared? What, or what's 2 squared? 4. What's negative 1 squared? 1. What's negative 1 squared? And what's 1 squared? What's 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1? 7. Here's the other line, the blue line. Looking at the same points. The distance from the line to the point, I have 3. From the line to the point, negative 1. From the line to the point is negative 2. From the line to the point is negative 1. So I take each one of these and I square it. What's 3 squared? 3 squared is 9. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 2 squared is 4, negative 1 squared is 1, which is 15. This one's 15, this one was 7, it's a smaller number, so it's a closer fit. Smaller number is better. So y equals x plus 4 was a better fit. The red line was better. I have this set of data. This one 
you have the red line going here, the blue line going here. I have y equals x plus 6 is the blue. y equals negative x plus 8. This should be both negatives. should be a negative there. And I have my points. So looking at the residuals, put the same type on two pages. Between here and here is negative 2. Between here and here is 2. Between here and here is negative 2. Between here and here is 2. What's 2 squared? 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is this one's 16. And this one. Looking at these, I have the negative 3, the 2, the negative 1, the 4. That's the distances between the line and the point vertically. I take each one of these numbers and do well with them. Square them. So I take each one and square them. What's negative 3 squared? 9. 2 squared. Negative 1 squared. And 4 squared. Well, we know right now this one's a lot bigger because of the 16. 30, 16. The y equals negative x plus 6 is a better one. Do you understand the residuals? I forgot to put a negative here. There's, where'd I get what from? Now, residuals aren't bad when you just have a couple data points. But if I gave you all of these data points and the line, that's a lot of work to do. So I'm going to show you right here. This is the populations of states in the year 2000 and the number of re representatives. What's AL stand for? Alabama had 4.5 million people, has seven U.S. representatives. What's AK? Alaska has 0.6 million, has one representative. AZ, Arizona, 5.1 million. AR, Arkansas. CA, California. CO, Colorado. I'm going to show you how to use your calculator to find the line of best fit. On your calculator, the stat button. The stat button is right next to the blue arrow. I press stat. It brings up this screen. And select one edit. You can either hit enter or just press one. We're going to enter the population in L1 and the number of representatives in L2. So in L1, I'm going to put 4.5, enter. 0.6, enter. 5.1, 2 2.7, 33.9, 4.3. Now I'm going to go over to press to the arrow right. And the representatives, 7, 1, 8, 4, 53, and 7. Please notice if they're not matched up. You shouldn't have a gap where there's one missing. So you put all the population in your L1 
all your representatives in L2. After we have them typed in, we press STAT again. Now up top there's different settings. We want to go over to the Calc menu, the Calculate menu. So press to the right. We want what's called a linear regression. So you either go down to 4 and press enter, or you just press the number 4. Because it's going to give us in the form, slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And it just uses a and, a, a and b. Now press enter. What this tells us is we have y equals 1.56x plus 0 0.02. This is the line of best fit. Around what to 6? We're going two decimal places. That's the line of best fit. So if I were to plot all of those points, let me turn these on. Second, y equals stat plot. My stuff's in L1, L2. I'm going to type the equation, 1.56x plus 0 0.02. There's my points, and there's the line of best fit. It's the line that best represents those points. All I did is I went into the calculator, I turned on plot 1, which turns on all those dots, that we, or all those points we put in the calculator. And then y equals, I type the equation. Now when I hit graph, it graphed the points and drew the line through it. So what does the y or the slope mean? What are we talking about here? So what does it mean then? How many representatives do you get, pretty much? What's the basic one? If, I didn't, if there was no population, you'd get for each million increase, the number of representatives increases. I don't know why I have 1.56 million. So a state with a population of zero would have 0 0.02 representatives. So even if there was no one living there, they would have one representative technically because you can't have 0.2 people or 0 0.02 people. So that person would be their own representative. What I want you to do, it's, it doesn't make sense realistically. Mathematically, that's what it means. I want you to try this data. Find the line of best fit. Put the length, <laughs> bless you, in L1, the price in L2. Do you delete the to delete your numbers, you go back in the stat, press enter. If you want to delete the numbers, just go up until L1 is highlighted. Press clear and then enter everything gets erased. If you press delete, it will actually delete L1. You need to reset your calculator to put it back. So do this.
finding the equation. Once you type these all in, I hit stat, go over to calc, 4, and then enter. When I round this, I get y equals 0.04x plus 6.38. That's your equation. What does the slope mean? Yes. All right, but what does it mean for our problem? What does it mean for our problem? What's the point oh four talking about? Remember, slope is always per. What are we talking about? Price. It's the price per price per yard. So what that means is three cents per yard. Or not three cents, four cents per yard. The y intercept is how much is added for the cost of every ball of yarn. So if you got zero yards of yarn, you would pay $6. It doesn't make sense in real life to pay something for nothing. But mathematically, that's what it represents. They're going to sell yarn in a thousand yard ball. We want to predict the cost of this yarn. How would I find out how much a thousand yard ball would cost? So what do you mean the calculator? Take the... Where do I put the thousand at? Put the thousand in 4x. So I take four cents times a thousand. Well, there's three decimal places here, or three zeros here. So I'm going to move it over, one, two, three. I have 40 plus 6.38. It would cost about $46.38. Now, R values. The one thing you haven't seen yet is the R values. The closer it is to zero, the more or the weaker it is. Let's try to see it. You have to turn your turn it on in your calculator. You need to hit second zero. The D just hit the X inverse button. It'll jump you right to the D's. You want to turn diagnostic on. Press enter and enter. The only thing it has said is done. You've told the calculator, turn your diagnostic tools on. You only have to do this once. Once it's on, it's on until you turn them off. Or reset the calculator. Going through it again. Second zero. I need to jump to the D's. I can scroll down until I get to them, but there's a lot of functions in this calculator. I'm going to jump right to the D's. That's what the green D stands for. Go down to the one that says diagnostic on. Press enter and enter again. Now when I go stat calc for enter. Now you get other things that show up. You get an R and an R squared. R squared is that squares. You know how in the first couple examples you found those numbers? The one that was 30, the one that was 16? That R squared is telling you what it is. The R in this problem. The R is 
Is 0.98 a positive or negative? Positive. It is a positive correlation. Is it closer to 1 or closer to 0? It's really close to 1. So it's a very close correlation. The closer the number is to 1, the closer the correlation is. Let's see about this problem. We have the difference of are the points allowed and the number of games won for a football team. In year one, the football team allowed 285 points and won three games. Year two, they gave up 310. They won four. Try every single one. Once we type in the data, what button do I press? Stat. Calc. Four. Enter. What this means is my line of best fit is negative 0.22x plus 9.91. Make sure that you're rounding correctly. Two decimal places I've messed up there. Negative 0.02x. Y equals negative 0.02x plus 9.91. Looking at this, I have an R value of negative 0.91. Is it positive or negative? Negative. So there's a negative correlation. The more yards you give up, the less games you win. I figured. Is it a strong or is it weak? Is it closer to zero or closer to one? It's closer to one. It doesn't matter. The sign just tells me if it's positive or negative. Is the 0.91 closer to 1 or is it closer to 0? It's closer to 1. 0.91 is almost 1. So there's a strong correlation. 